gonna show you how I made this Jeep grill LED light. It's using a real Jeep grill. I used one from a Jeep JK model, which is 2007 through 2018. Ended up picking it up for $25 off of Marketplace, Facebook Marketplace. Um, it was silver, it was kind of scratched up. I ended up painting it blue, a can of rattle paint. I got some regular Halo LED headlights. I also got some LED blinkers and put them all together along with that blue light. It's actually a color changing LED strip back there. And I will show you how I, how I linked everything up and turned it into this you know, piece, of, uh, piece of wall art. All right, here we have um, a few of the things we're gonna need to complete this, uh, complete this job here. All right, you're gonna need, obviously you need a pair of headlights um, so, as well as a pair of headlight retaining rings. You're also going to need a pair of blinkers. You're going to need six of these female spade connectors. Um, these ones have 22 gauge wire attached to them. You're going to need a power adapter. This is, um, you plug this into the wall and this is Pretty self-explanatory, I guess. You're also gonna need one of these, which plugs onto the end of the adapter here, which gives you uh, the option for positive and negative connection. Now this part's optional, but um, yeah, definitely makes everything look better. Uh, this is the LED strip, that one right there. You can see it's turning the inside of the grill and starts blue back there. It has the uh, sticky adhesive on the back or whatever, self-adhesive on the back. And it's going to come with a remote control, as well as a receiver box. You're also going to need a few other things like uh, JB Weld. I also used fishing line, heavy fishing line, um, between a few of the top mounting holes up there. To uh, see if I can, the little loop I made to hang it up. You can use a picture frame, the wire, whatever that stuff is, whatever you have laying around. Um, what else are you gonna need? You're gonna need a few of the, uh, maybe zip ties to tie up all the wires in the back, but that's pretty much it. In order to get your headlight hooked up, we're gonna use one of these spade connectors. They usually come with the headlights. Um, if not, it's just a typical spade connector. And we have it hooked onto, I'd say a 22 gauge wire. When you're looking at these headlights, considering this prong down here that's facing a different direction, the horizontal one, opposed to the vertical ones, considering that's the bottom, the one on the left side is gonna be your ground. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this spade connector and with a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of pressure, gentle persuasion, Took a little bit, but we can get that on there, and that's on there nice and tight. Now that we have our ground wire connected, we can move along to the daytime running light or the halo ring. So, as you can see, this one has two wires. So, some of these headlights are designed with a blinker built in, so it has a yellow or amber yellow light along with a white light. So to figure out which one is which, if you don't already know, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take this connector here that we're gonna use to uh, plug into the our power adapter. We're gonna plug it into the power adapter. And what I did was put a wire, in it, a red and a black wire. So you have the two, uh, Tells you which one is positive, which is negative. Loosen the screws, insert the wires under the little uh, clamps, tighten the screws down, and they have it connected. So now basically you have 12 volts of power from your wall adapter in your house. So what we're gonna do now is take, we're gonna expose the ground wire a little, or the ground plug a little bit. Take the black wire for the ground, 
All right, now we're now we're grounded out. And now we have these two wires here. We're gonna need to know which one is which. So we're gonna take the red and touch it. So we have a white light. So the red wire in our case is a white light. The green wire, or the, the red wire is an amber light. Red wire, white light, green wire, amber light. I want you to figure out which wire you're gonna use here. Basically what you need to do now is extend it just like you did the one for the ground wire. So in order to do that, you're either gonna take the appropriate connector. In my case here, it's a male spade connector. You can also simply cut the spade connector off of this if you don't have one of these and either solder it together, use buck connectors, whatever your method of connecting wires is. All right, so now once you have that, you have your positive wire, which is which should be about a foot long, and you have your negative wire, which should also be about a foot long. This next step, we're going to be hooking up the blinkers. You can either use a LED one, or you can use a factory halogen. They'll have the same plug, and that's what we're going to be tapping into. All right, we're going to need more of these wired spade connectors. We're going to use female ends right now. What we're going to do, you have three pins in here. On one outside is going to be your ground wire, so you're going to plug one wire. You're going to use these little holes in the spade connectors to go over these pins. So right now it's, just, it's going to be very loose. We're going to take care of that in a minute. So we got one on one outside pin. We're going to skip the middle pin. Then we're going to plug that one out to the outside pin. So now we have two pins plugged in here very loosely. And what we're going to do now is take this our adapter, which is plugged into the wall, and we have this little connector piece on the end uh, with the two screws on it again. We're not going to loosen the screws or anything like that. We're just going to take the ends of these wires that are attached into the blinker just to test to make sure that the blinker is actually going to light up and to figure out which wire is uh, positive and negative wire. Alright, All right, so we got it lit up, which is showing me that That's negative side, that's the positive. So that's gonna be our negative wire. This is gonna be our positive wire. All right, let's unplug these. Now you're gonna need a pair of pliers. We're gonna use these ones. You can use any type of pliers, it doesn't really matter. All right, now the goal here is we're gonna pinch one of these little loops down tighter. We're gonna make it smaller so it fits over this, these pins a lot tighter. So, I mean, there's really no method to this, whatever, whatever works best for you, but basically, just pinch it down a bit. And then test fit, you know. Still a little loose. And then if you mess it up, you have the one on the other side to get redemption with. All right, that's on there. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide this little rubber shield back over. So we don't have any, uh, so we don't have the cross or anything like that and short this thing out. And then we're gonna do that again for the second one, crimp it down, I should say, I guess we'll say crimp it down, what the hell, and then put it over, slide it, and then again, um, you know which wires are which, so you, now you have, from here you have two wires, you have a positive and you have a negative wire, and again I would do about a foot here, uh, a foot of wire on each one of these. Alright, here's how I mounted the headlight inside the grill. So you got your headlight here. Now I don't have a stock um, retaining ring, so I'm using an aftermarket one here for example, but it's basically the same thing minus these little guards. Alright, so we have these four tabs here, right? Just remember those because we're going to use those in the next step to actually mount this into the grill. Alright, so what I ended up doing now, I took a double sided tape and I put it inside of here all the way around. And 
and I simply attached it like that. Actually, we're upside down here. Attached it like that. I made it, made sure it was straight, straight as I can get it. Attached it like that. So now our headlight and the retaining ring are now one piece. So from there, what I ended up doing now is because when you go to stick this inside the uh, the uh, the headlight bezel area, I guess you would call it. The, uh, these rings are, are, these little tabs are a little too short so they don't reach anything, so it would just kind of fall through. So what I did, and it was very easy, I took the little metal clips off the back of the grill that you know, mounts into the stock metal or whatever, those are the, the, I guess, retaining clips, whatever they would be called. And I stuck them on the end of here to extend these a little bit. I just basically pinched it over, slid it over, and then took it out a little bit. Epoxied everything together. So now the retaining ring, the headlight, and those little extended tabs were one piece. From there, I went on to the grill. All right, so we're back over at the grill here. So what I ended up doing is just cutting four little notches, not very deep notches, but four little shallow notches right where the, um, the little tabs with the screw holes in them on the mounting uh, ring would line up. And that's just so they would lay in there and not spin around or anything like that. Um, and then what I did is just glob a bunch of, as you can see, JB Weld on all the all the uh, mounting areas. And man, that thing is in there. It's been in there good for months. And I'm not worried about it at all. There's other ways of doing this. Um, you don't have to extend those tabs like I did in, in the uh, previous step. What you could do is add a ring of material to the inside of the headlight, um, you know, matching the color that you painted the grill, obviously. And then use that to mount so you don't have to extend anything. Um, there's so many different ways. If you, want, if you don't want to use my method, just, you know, think about something else and I'm sure you'll come up with something, something just as good. All right, so basically here's what's going on with the, with the power portion of it. You're going to take whatever adapter you want to use, whether it's the 5 amp or the smaller one. I believe it's a 2, two amp or whatever it is. Um, all right, so what you're going to do is you're going to plug this into your wall, as you all know. You're going to take this end and you're going to take one of these little guys right here. You're going to plug it into here. And now what this little thing does is it gives you a plus and a minus connection. You see the little plus and a minus thing? So you have a positive and a negative thing right there. What you're going to do is you're going to take a small screwdriver. And you want to loosen, loosen the screws up, which makes a space in there. And it allows you to take your spliced wire and stick it in there. Tighten the screws down. So what we're going to do now is we we hooked up all of our um, we have all of our positive wires which were coming from the from the blinko and from the blinker and the halo portion. Um, we're going to run those all to one wire, and that one wire would be we're going to say it's this one, and we're going to plug it into the positive one here. Sorry about that. So you're going to want to hold it in there with your finger. Make sure you got it in good. And then go ahead and tighten that screw. And once you got it held in a bit, just, you know, tighten it down. All right, same with the other one. Get it in there, tighten it down. All right. So what this does is now it gives us the ability to plug our 12 volt devices, the headlights, the blinkers and all that good stuff, into the basic, our standard wall socket inside of our home or wherever else we are. All right, we're in the back here. Headlight, obviously, parking light. All right, so we have the positive wire from this, the negative wire. Then we have the positive wire from this and the negative wire from this. They all run together, and then you tie both positives together with a positive wire that I have running, linking the two headlights and blinkers up together. So basically what you're doing here, it's very easy. It might look like a mess, but you can trim these down too and make them nice and short, whatever you'd like to do. See, I just have mine all wrapped up and tucked up away, so. All right, so we have the positive wire here together with this positive wire attached with this positive wire. So now these two wires linked with this one wire right here. 
making all the positives go together. Now the negative wire, same with that, negative, negative all to this black negative wire. So now all these wires run this way. I drilled holes through, the, through these little mounts here to run the wire through. And then we run to this side. Now those, I did the same thing on this side now. We have the, um, you have your positive wire in here, your negative wire, along with the positive wire from here and the negative wire from here. They all link together, meet in the same wire, and then from here, the positive from a, th a second wire I made now, all linked to the positives from this wire, all the negatives linked to the negatives from this wire, and that leaves us with another one of these, which we plug into our adapter, and then the adapter obviously goes into the wall, and that's how everything lights up. So this part right here now, this is that colored light you saw behind the grill, the, the blue one I had lit up. This is a color changing light. Um, it's called the LED strip. And this one right here, it's a non-waterproof one. It's flexible, it has an adhesive backing on it. This one is color changing, it has a remote control. Um, this box right here, this is the eye. Um, if you don't want to get the remote, uh, the remote control with the color changing, if you know what color you want, you can just do that. And then you won't have this box here. It'll make things a little bit, um, a little bit cleaner. But if not, um, this again is another 12 volt device. There's a plug coming out of here, with that, which has um, a positive and a negative wire. And again, all you do is you tie this, the positive and negative from this box, into the positive and negative with these right here. So basically, everything on here, all the positive wires, are from every light on here is running through this wire, meeting up with this side all these positives on this side then they all go into this wire right here which plugs into your adapter which plugs into your wall all right the last step is um you plug the uh, adapter into the wall this right here and then you have this uh wire right here this is the one that came out the back that was connecting all those red and blacks together plug that into that boom everything powers up but what I did is I took one of these inline switches right here. You just plug this in right in between. Right in between these two pieces. And now you have an on-off switch. If you don't want to install this, if you want to turn it on and off, you just unplug, plug in and unplug the uh, adapter from the wall. All right, those uh, colors are changed using your remote control. Your remote control aims at that eye I was telling you about before. So as long as you have that eye visible, your remote control will work.